Today, we're going to go ahead and look at all of the cut zombies, the cut equipment, and the cut maps that Guts and Black Powder originally had in the game, or stuff that they were working on and never added it to the game. We're going to go over the Guts and Black Powder wiki unreleased content section, which is available to the public. So let's go ahead and get started. We were doing a live stream yesterday, and we happened to stumble over to the official Guts and Black Powder wiki thing here. And Fez was like, yeah, it's released to the public. You do whatever you want. Unreleased content. In Guts and Black Powder, there are many pieces of content that have been completely scrapped or unreleased to the public, and this article will give a brief explanation on each piece of scrapped content and the reasoning for its exclusion. There are currently only three known zombies that have been completely cut and unused from the game, and we got the Bruiser, the Parasite, and the Curase. How the f*** do you say that? Curaseer. F*** me. That is not- Among the most popular cut zombies, the Bruiser was intended to be the generic tank zombie of the game. The Bruiser was planned to grab and put players into a chokehold until they either got hit enough times by a melee, which they got some stats here for the melee weapons, five hits from the stake, three hits from the saber, and two hits from the hand axe, or maybe the saber's axe, or shot at once, and the ability to do a punching sweep if too many players are around him like a maniac. They would let go after being shot and were able to withstand headshot damage. The headshot immunity was later given to the zapper zombie, and was later scrapped entirely due to how generic it was. So it looks like they just scrapped this guy because the zapper got put into the game. Technically, the zapper is kind of the bruiser of the game, so I'm assuming that's why, but the mechanic the bruiser had is pretty cool, putting players into a chokehold and then you can't like get released until you hit them. The parasite was intended to be another generic zombie that would spit its vial towards players, and when the vial hits you, it would apply a debuff that would slowly infect the player. The parasite will keep its distance, but attack when there's large groups of zombies or he's completely alone. He was later scrapped due to being another generic zombie. As of right now, the only way to get infected in Guts and Black Powder is to get, you know, scratched by the zombie enough times to start the infection and in hardcore pretty much if you get scratched once you're gonna have infection start right away with the parasite though this would have a projectile infection that would slowly infect the player and i'm assuming if you get hit by the vial right away it would then go ahead and, and start that infection the curaseer i think i said that right this was intended to be a zombie that would encourage gunplay over melee however it is currently up in the air whether or not he'll be included in the game so it looks like they're still deciding whether or not to throw that guy into the game i'm assuming that melee wouldn't work on him. It looks like he's armored enough where if you were to use a melee weapon on the Curaseer, it wouldn't affect him at all and you'd have to use a gun. Overall, very cool zombie designs, and I did not see that there was like an original concept sheet here. So the Curaseer here, the Shambler with armor and takes a lot more melee hits, but still pretty weak to guns. The Brute, a big tanky infected. He is slow, but up close, he'll grab a survivor, put into a troll gold. Yep. He will snap their neck and throw their ragdoll across. Brute has to be thrown into the game. Can you imagine fighting a zombie horde and seeing your friend get f***ing tossed? And also here it says, if there's a lot of survivors around him, he can choose to do a punching sweep in the general area, and anyone caught in that sweep will be knocked back and dazed for two seconds. He's also able to smash down barricades, instantly destroying it. This would be the tank of Left 4 Dead. And then the Parasite, he's also able to predict where the survivor is going with the spit and can choose to swipe at them if they're close enough. This is what happens when you smoke, kids. Don't do it. The last unused zombie I would like to mention is the Crawler Zombie, and this is not showcased in the unreleased content section, but you can find it on the unused section in the Zombies tab. The Crawler is believed to be a common infected not found naturally in the game. Crawlers will latch onto your legs and begin eating you, although there is no animation for such process. As of now, they remain unfinished, only being able to be summoned via commands. Overall, for just the three zombie concepts that they came up with, this would like entirely change how Guts and Black Powder would work. It would be completely different. All right, next we have cut equipment. These are items that were completely scrapped from the game, and most were reasons simply due to it not fitting with the game. So the first one here we have is the holy water and the body of Christ. The holy water and the body of Christ are considered to be the same exact item, but with different methods of handling the ability. They ultimately became the blessing ability that the chaplain has, or aka priest for what most people call him. Both of the holy water and the body of Christ were supposed to cure infection. The holy water was supposed to douse players with the water in order to cure them, and this was scrapped due to how generic and unfitting the item was. It was later followed up by the body of Christ, in which the player was given a piece of sacramental bread to consume, and however, this was later scrapped due to the same problem. I understand, like, chaplains and priests in games, it, it does get very controversial what to do with an item, especially in a zombies game. Honestly, coming from, you know, from my perspective, I really don't care. I'm Christian myself, they're not here to make fun of the item. Coming from the media and movies, holy water and the body of Christ is 
supposed to repel this stuff. While the holy water is inaccessible, the body of Christ can be obtained via admin commands, and we have used this before. And actually, now that I think about it, me and Kairuten have played with the body of Christ recently, and it does work. I'm pretty sure it cures infection and heals you. Otherwise, I could be going crazy. I have slight dementia. The Bone Saw. This was intended to be a side-grade melee weapon for the surgeon. You trade damage output for consistent and immediate supply drops. And I'm pretty sure supply drops are what you have to pick up in order to replenish the surgeon in order to heal. However, it was completely scrapped due to how unfitting it was for the game. And furthermore, it was just too goofy to include. However, its general functionality is still being considered by the developers. The Steel Pistol and the Cutlass. The Steel Pistol and the Cutlass are reskins of their counterparts, the Pistol and the Saber, which means that their stats are largely the same. They have no significant differences besides being reskins. However, the Steel Pistol was intended for the 42nd Regiment of Foot, but it was later scrapped due to it being visually unappealing. Both weapons, however, are obtainable via admin commands. The Steel Pistol does look like a skin from Call of Duty or something. If you got 30 headshots with this gun, you can put on the white skin. It looks unfinished for sure. And the pistol that we have now for the officer looks really good. And I'm not gonna lie, that actually looks very unappealing as well. <laughs> but I mean, what can you really do with the sword? Next, we have cut maps from the game. There are currently two early maps known to exist during Guts and Black Powder's early development, and these maps were meant for testing our certain features of the game, or they were used as placeholders before any of the current maps were made. The cabin is the very first map of the game. It is a simple map featuring a singular cabin. This is the only map that was removed entirely from the game due to it being a placeholder. While the files do exist within the game, the map is unplayable in the game. I'm not gonna lie, this looks like some cabin in the woods type of shit. And I remember when we were reviewing this on stream, I mentioned that it'd be very cool if this cabin map did return to the game. Like with an atmosphere that would make it entirely- Foggy Fields is a command only map that features a fogged infested field. Unlike the other maps, you can build endlessly, allowing people to mess around and create things for fun. It is currently the only command only map in the game. Foggy Fields we have played before on stream and yes, this is a map where you can build endlessly. We actually had a command where we just made everyone a sapper and everyone just had to build on this endless map. It was very fun. The last cut map is the test zone. The test zone is a small testing area for testing out items and other items. It is a base plate map with spawners for zombies and other items for creative use of the player to experiment and have fun. The map is playable and is currently one of the only command only maps in the game. The other being Foggy Fields, of course. Scrapped or early maps. There are versions of the map that may be scrapped due to various reasons. Most of the time, it comes down to playability and enjoyability. Early Vardahus Fortress. The earliest version of Vardahus Fortress was scrapped due to it being a placeholder map for the game. This was during the time when Endless was the only game mode, and it cannot be accessed via admin commands. So Vardahus Fortress had a version before the one that we have now, which I did not know. I I don't know what it contained, but the image that it provides, it looks like it still has the dock, but it doesn't have the area where the cannons were, and it still has the lighthouse. So I'm assuming that the mechanic of activating the lighthouse for the ship to arrive is going to be the same feature in this earliest version of Fardahus Fortress. Early Hugamont. I don't know how to say that. This was replaced in the 2023 Halloween update, and the PvP game mode still uses the old Hug map, which we literally just played yesterday. So I have played on this before. I have played Hug before. For, the early one. The one major change that the new Hugh has over the old one is the well replacement. And when you do play the PvP game mode on the old Hugh map, it is daytime compared to the nighttime that it provided when you were playing Endless. Alright, the last thing here is the early San Sebastian. San Sebastian remained largely the same. However, the ending was drastically changed due to how lackluster it was. The original ending did not feature a gigantic wave, nor did it feature Barry assisting the players. Instead, it was more of a race to the end, as instead of Barry launching the rocket to alert the ship, the players would launch the rocket. So Barry wasn't even included at all in the early San Sebastian. You would just have to race to the end to launch the rocket. So the whole section with Barry having to sit there and assist the players to get them down and launch the rocket, that wasn't even in early San Sebastian. This version of the map was scrapped since players would be able to grief their teammates by lowering the platform early before they get on the platform. Of f***ing course. Leave it to GMB people to do this. Also, some of the level geometry would be cut when the map would release. And a remnant of the 
this cut ending in the current version of the map is shown after the second respawn point, where the objective states launch the rockets to blow up the door. Although this is an oversight and will be patched in later updates. So that's kind of a neat little Easter egg, I guess. And that's pretty much all of the unreleased content that Guts and Black Powder has. I think it's really cool. I really like the zombie portion of this unreleased content. I really hope they decide to go ahead and throw some of these zombies into the game because that would make it insanely more fun. But let me know what you guys thought about the unreleased content in the comment section down below. What'd you guys think about some zombies? What'd you guys think about the equipment and the maps as well? And if you guys have any ideas for Guts and Black Powder that isn't like, you know, adding skibbity toilet to the game, because if you say that, <laughs> I'm gonna murder you. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. I want to see what you guys think. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for me. My name's JMT, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.